Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in today's video, we're checking out the All Powers APS 2000 Pro. If you've been following the socials, you know that they've, we've just come back from, from an epic three week trip to Cape York, very top of Australia. And this guy, we were testing the whole way. It powered our Starlink, our space internets, which enabled all the daily vlogs that you may have already seen on the channel. Now that we're back, I figured it's time for a full review. So without further ado, let's get started. So here it is. This is the All Powers, the APS 2000, and it's the Pro. The big difference with the Pro is this guy here, and that is a 30 amp output, perfect for RVs and that kind of stuff, recreational vehicles like we've got there. Now from a stats perspective, this is the big guy. You can get smaller versions here, but find this to be really good value compared to some of its competitors on the market for this size of storage and the inverter that sits within it. So it is an all-in-one power bank, similar to the other ones we've reviewed on the channel. This guy though has a 2,400 watt inverter built in. So that means anything you can run off a standard household grade plug, anything you run at home, you can run off one of the four AC points here, which is pretty awesome. It's also 1,500 lithium lithium watt hours of lithium battery and that's a LiPo 4 meaning that you're going to get that two and a half to three thousand cycles through it so it's the one you want to give you an idea running that Starlink Starlink was drawing about that seven to eight amps and according to our little display here that gives you a readout of how long stuff's going to last we could run that Starlink for about 30 hours non-stop which was just amazing dimensionally the thing comes in at about 37 by 24 by 25 centimeters and it weighs in at about 14 and a half kilos. So it is beefy, but to be expected with this much juice storage. It has some really cool carry handles on the side, and I found those to be really easy to be able to pick the unit up and move it around camp, back in and out of the car and all of that sort of stuff. So overall, a nice looking unit. Now from getting power into the unit, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You do have your AC input. The big advantage with this guy though, is you can charge this guy from zero to 100% in only one and a half hours if you've got your solar plugged in as well. So I've had this guy plugged in and we're getting almost 1500 watts of input straight into the unit, which is wild. That is, that is absolutely fantastic. This guy can be pretty skinny and almost empty and depleted. You can plug it into the wall and after a solid hour, you're getting close to being full, which is just insane for the size of the battery. Then of course have another couple of options. It has a built-in MPPT charger and you can get a maximum of 650 watts worth of solar. You do that via the XT60 plug, which is this guy here. We use that on the Cape trip a fair bit. I've got a nice little storage pouch that contains all three of our cables, nothing extra to buy. These are our three, so there's our AC unit. I've just added an Anderson plug connecting to my panels from the Cape trip. But basically you just have your standard MC4 connectors straight into the XT60, which would then just basically plug straight into the front like that. The other option is charging from the car. So that's what this guy is for pretty standard stuff you can get a really good charge out of this as well which is about 10 amps so really maximizing the max you can get from your car we might just plug it into our unit here we've got some ac uh, some dc sorry straight off the store mod we're already plugged in untangle this guy and plug it in we can plug it straight in the front this will then sense that hey we've got a charge coming in it'll switch on and then it'll automatically flick over and tell us exactly how much is coming in. So there you go, we've got 123 odd. That is excellent. It does give you a readout there on how long it's gonna take. That's pretty cool and nice and handy. Now from an output perspective, we've got a bunch of options. We have our AC. This is the AC pure sine wave inverter. You just hold that down there. You can see that flicks on there on the controls. We can see our fan automatically switches on there as well. We have fan sucking in on this side and blowing out on this side. And then on the side, we have all of our DC all on the left here. To turn that on, just a matter of flicking the little switch there. You can see that activates our car port there, as well as our USB ports and what have you there. So you can see on this particular unit, which is really cool and great to see, there's two USB-C ports. We'll give those a bit of a whirl in just a sec. Both of them are 100 watts each, so perfectly for charging your laptop, your phone on fast charge. We then have four USB-A's. They're all fast chargers as well, which is awesome. And then we have our standard cigarette lighter plug on the top there, 
perfect for plugging in your fridge and that kind of thing. All right, so we've talked about how we get power into the unit. Let's have a bit of a play now and plug some stuff in so we can suck some juice out of the unit. What I might do is turn the app on at the same time. I've just got it sitting over here. We go into Bluetooth here on the top. We go, yep, cool. It's recognized it straight away. You just need to have the IoT turned on here. You can just hold down the DC to enable that. That's what that little icon there in the middle is for. It's recognized, there it is, the All Power SP2000 Pro. We connect into that, and there we go. We've got a live output. Now, the cool thing with this is you have all the settings on the front that you're gonna need. So we can actually turn on and off. For example, here's our, our AC. We can turn that off directly from the app. So there you go, you can see that's turned off. Turn it back on directly. We can do the same for DC. And it gives us a readout here of exactly what we're drawing on the side as well. So, so standard stuff, I reckon let's give the old uh, laptop a bit of a go. I've got a USB-C laptop uh, available just here. So let's plug in this guy and we can watch that in action. We should see the USB pop up on the screen there. Yep, it does. And then similarly here, we can see the output at about 42, 43 watts. And we should have a little light on here somewhere. Yep, there it is. So the laptop's nice and charging, so that's cool. Okay, so from here, I reckon let's start loading it up with some AC. Now remember, 2,400 watts, so it's got plenty of headroom here. I've got a few AC devices. I've set up a couple of these old school halogen globes. Now these suckers draw 500 watts each. And then we have our sort of our standard testing affair here, which if you've watched any of the other power bank reviews, we've got to get this guy going, right? This is our, this is our milk frother. Uh, being a bit of a coffee fiend, I need to have this on hand at all times. It is 500 watts as well. I'll just show you that. There we go. 500 watts. So let's start plugging some stuff in one by one and then see how we go. So if we plug this guy in, let's start that one going, working. We'll flip on over here to our screens. There we go, it's recognized. Yep, we're chewing some juice. We can see our hours is updated there as well to 57 minutes if we were gonna keep using 500 watts the whole time. Similarly then on our app, it's given us basically the same information there, right? I reckon from here, let's, let's keep plugging some stuff in before our water, our H2O there is frothed. Let's just start plugging in some stuff. We can start climbing, there's a thousand watts. 1,042 odd, you can see our minutes, we're drawing a 1,000. That's only gonna give you about half an hour, 29 minutes. Let's keep going, let's plug in our other light here. Same there, and we can see through the trees. There we go, 1,400 odd watts coming out, and similarly, 1,437. So 39 watts, 39% yeah, there, it looks like our coffee's finished. Now I'll make sure I link in the video description down below where you can pick one of these up for yourself. And if you use my link down there as well, you will pick up a bit of a discount as well. So thanks very much to All Powers for getting on board and supporting all of you guys if you're in the market for picking up something like this for yourself. As always guys, of course, massive thank you to the patrons of Video Show Me How. You guys, of course, as you know, are a bunch of legends. If you're keen to get involved with the Patreon that does a couple of things, it sort of supports me bringing out content like this for all of you guys. You get some per uh, some perks, some merch, that kind of thing along the way. But then also we do monthly and a bit giveaways over there for patrons only. So if you're interested in getting involved with any of that sort of stuff, head on over to Patreon slash video show me how, patreon.com slash video show me how, and check out the options. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you found that helpful as we checked out the all powers, all in one power bank. As always, I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.